Good afternoon class. I hope you're having a great day. So this afternoon I wanted to complete one of the practice problems, the transmission load or the heat loss practice problems. So one of the problems that I loaded on your Canvas account, I've written on the board here so I can complete this practice problem with you. So it says, look at the two illustrations below and calculate the transmission load, also known as the heat loss, through the wall. The outside temperature is 28 degrees Fahrenheit and the desired inside temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And so we have two illustrations. Uh, we have a drawing that uh, just represents the wall and the dimensions are 12 foot in width and 8 foot in height. And there's a note on the practice problems page that says there are no windows or doors. And then there is a cross section of this wall and there's some notes on the illustration that says to neglect the outside air fill. The siding has an R value of 1.05. The insulation has an R value of 13. Drywall 0.68. And there's an inside air fill on the inside of the building that has an R value of 0.68. Okay, so the, the equation to calculate the heat loss is Q prime equals A times U times delta T. So A is the area of the wall. U represents the U factor, which is the inverse of the total R value. And delta T represents the difference in temperature between the outside and inside temperature. So let's just go ahead and generate our three values here. Area. So the area of our wall, we are given the overall width and height dimensions. And remember, there's no windows and doors. So we have 12 feet times 8 feet. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get out our calculators. And I've got 12 times 8. That's going to be 96. And so we have foot times foot. This is going to be foot squared. And then to get our U factor, what we're going to have to do, U factor is equal to 1 divided by our total R value. So what let's do is first calculate the total R value and then we will do 1 divided by that value. So we have R subtotal is going to equal 1.05 plus 13 plus 0 0.68 plus 0 0.68. And I get 14.41. So R sub T, 15.41. Now the units on here, that's going to be foot squared times hour times degree Fahrenheit per BTU, or British Thermal Unit. So what we're going to do to calculate the U factor this is going to be the inverse of our total R value. So 1 divided by 15.41, and we have units of foot squared, hour degree Fahrenheit per British thermal unit. So 1 divided by that value. And what we're going to do, uh, and I also listed in the notes, we are going to truncate at the thousandths place, okay? So my value here that I see on my calculator is 0 0.064893, and it keeps going on. But since we're going to truncate, okay, to the thousandths place, we're just going to keep this value, the four, and we're going to remove the rest. So my value is going to be 64 thousandths. 
but we're taking the inverse of our total R value. So our units are going to be British thermal unit per foot squared hour degree Fahrenheit, okay? So we're going to need that. And next, we need our temperature difference between the inside and outside temperature. So delta T is going to be 70 degrees Fahrenheit minus 28 degrees Fahrenheit. So I have 42 degrees Fahrenheit. So what we're going to do, Q prime, my area is 96 square feet. My U factor is going to be 0 0.064, and we have units of British thermal unit per foot squared hour degrees Fahrenheit multiplied by our temperature difference, which is going to be 42 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? So let's talk about the numerical value first. So we're just gonna multiply the three values together. So 96 times 0 0.064 times 42, Q prime is equal to 258.048. All right, we have foot squared, and we can also write this algebraically. This is foot squared over one, so it's in the numerator, and we're multiplying it here, and I have foot squared in the denominator. So, foot squared is going to cancel, and then we have degrees Fahrenheit here in the numerator, and Fahrenheit in the denominator. So, these will cancel, and this gives me BTUs per hour. And I'm just going to go ahead and round to the ones place here. So my heat loss, Q prime, is equal to 258 British thermal units per hour. So I hope this example problem helped you today. If you have any questions calculating the heat loss or the transmission load, uh, please give me a call or send me an email. I hope you have a wonderful day.